Hello, everyone. i um, actually joined here with uh, our brother, Brandon Hasselton, uh, who's part of our campus ministry. Uh, Brandon, thank you so much for coming on and, and this interview and uh, sharing about caregiving. Uh, I actually was, uh, was surprised and wasn't surprised as we talked about in our, in our campus uh, ministry about uh, our, our, our most uh, dominant pathways of connecting with God. You shared that it was uh, caregiving for you. Uh, and, and, uh, I actually, when I, when you said that afterwards, I thought, man, yes, uh, I can definitely see that you have a heart that cares and an eye that notices needs in our group. Uh, and, and you've been really active, uh, in doing those. So I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for that and, and for you being part of our group. Uh, but I, I'd love to hear some more about it. You're still a, a young man and a young Christian, uh, in some ways, although, you know, it's been a few years now. But uh, mm -hmm. maybe you, can you share a little bit with, uh, with us about uh, how did you develop this? Uh, how did you notice it? And, and, and what role does it play in your relationship with God right now, caregiving is? Yeah. So I think for me, it started when I was in high school, um, probably around my, like the end of my 11th year and start of my 12th. Mm -hmm. um, I remember uh, there's a, a teen uh, Devo that was on, like, you know, don't letting, don't let people look down on you because you're young. And so I, like, it, it really inspired me. And, um, it kind of was always in my head, like, you know, like, what can I do to be not, not just a Christian, but like an adult Christian and be seen as like, you know, like, oh, this Brandon is like an adult Christian. He's not just like a teen who's you know, his parents were in the church and he got baptized. I want to, I want to be a Christian because I'm deciding to be a Christian. And so for me, I was, that was kind of like, what, what can I do to make my faith my own? And like, you know, there, like, there's a lot of stuff that is a little bit more difficult as a kid. Like it's harder to give money as a, as a teen, because like you don't have a job or at least I didn't. And so, um, but the one thing I did have a lot of was time. Wow. And so I figured I could give my time, um, which was kind of how that developed. And during the summer, there was like, you know, they would always send out an email every week, like with everything that was going on in the church. And they'd be like, oh, these people need help moving or like they need help setting up for a wedding. And so I would always volunteer and help where I could. And um, that's kind of how it started. And it continued to to develop even um, like near the end of senior year during, and then my end of senior year was COVID. So there was kind of like a huge <laughs> break between that. But I remember I was just trying to do as much as I could and, uh, help out whoever needed it. That's awesome. Wow. What a, what a, what a great way of, uh, of, you know, not thinking about what you cannot do, but thinking about what you can do. Uh, mm -hmm. I really, I really like that. Uh, so what would, uh, what would your advice be, uh, this, this week we're focusing on caregiving. How can we engage with this? Uh, what can we do? Uh, maybe some practical ideas of, uh, hmm. yeah. So the first thing would be to try and find someone who has a right. need, but when I see someone who is like, usually like secluded from a group or, um, is, you know, they're they're normally a part of the group a lot, but all of a sudden they're feeling like a little bit of withdrawal. Mm. Um, that usually means that there's some sort of need there. Um, and so I try to give that person like extra attention and try to bring them into the group uh, that day. Cause maybe, maybe they had a rough day and then um, trying to figure out like, like what I can do to encourage that person. And, and people are, are different. Um, but generally anyone, anyone that you, show that you like you put in genuine time and effort to reach out to them and like talk to them and be like hey what's up um usually that'll impact anyone um i i think most people will notice that like you know you're initiating a conversation that normally wouldn't have been initiated mm -hmm. and that you're you're trying to encourage them i think most people uh will see that and um i think also something that i try to do I don't feel like comfortable, like sharing about it a lot. Like, you know, being like, oh man, I went and did this with this person. Yeah. I don't so, like, Sorry for putting you on the spot here. Yeah. <laughs> it, 
but like in, in broader strokes, it's fine. But like, I feel like when you say like, oh, I did this um, for this person, like it can, it can almost kind of twist the meaning because it's very easy as a caregiver to be tempted to be like, like boasting about like, mm-hmm. oh, like, oh, I went and did this, like, and then it, it can be tempting to want to get praise from it. And so what I try to tell myself is like, what if I never tell anyone about this? Like, I, I think about that in my head just so I can do it. Like, I, and I won't feel like guilty about, not, I guess I wouldn't feel guilty about doing it anyways, but just, just to keep myself and my pride in check is like, mm-hmm. I, I, I say to myself, like, you know, I'm not going to tell um, anyone I did this um, or, you know, it's like, it, it, it's, it's not really a, a big thing, but just trying not try to keep it focused on God. Cause that way it is time with God, right? Like, yes, you know, God, God sees what you've done. And if you're doing it for God, then you'll only tell God. Right. And so that's, that's kind of the mentality I try to have with it. That's awesome, Brandon. I, 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 I so appreciate you sharing about that. I think that's a, you know, if, if we don't worry about people as much, but serve out of really cert- loving God and passing on what we have, uh, then it, it you know, I, I, you know, wow, what, a, what an amazing wisdom. It really will enrich our relationship with God. It, it mm-hmm. won't, you know, it, it, it doesn't get brownie points with everybody. It doesn't matter, but it's, it's between me and God. That's, that's so awesome. Thanks for sharing that.